welcome to Alpha Car Service Center. My name is Dimitri, and today we're actually uh, proceeding with the work we started on this car. This is 2010 Porsche Panamera, and the concern was air suspension dropping down. And then we've done some uh, tests. We actually came up with a really cool tool. The goal of this tool that we came up with is to completely isolate air struts from the system. How do we do this? The tool comes uh, with a set of lines and valves and the fittings that fit directly onto your Porsche's strut fitting. So with that connected, and by the way, uh, this green line is the vehicle line that would go there otherwise. So what we do is for the right front suspension, we have this system with two valves, and I'll tell you in a minute, why there are two valves on the right side. And then on the left side, and for both rear wheels, you have pretty much this valve, and you have the fitting, and you have the line. And you need, at the very least, these two to get started. This one would allow us to fill the system with pressurized air and pressurize the struts. We turn off the air strut from the rest of the car, from all the rest of the lines. And we do that on all two or four wheels, whatever we're testing. And then we roll the car out, especially if it's in the cold, if it happens in the cold, we would do that. So now we leave the vehicle for overnight and then we will see if the vehicle height has not changed, we know the issue in the leak is not in the struts. It's somewhere in the system, and we will start tracing that. We determine through using that tool, we determine that the leak is coming from the air struts. So we install the new air struts. We're just putting the wheels back on, and then we're gonna proceed with the nitrogen system feel. So we're gonna show you that. We do have our equipment here, and we do have uh, here the diagnostic station that connects to the vehicle, and we're able to follow the factory procedure how to do system fill. So we're all set up here. On the Panamera, the system fill happens through the disconnect of the right front strut, and a certain adapter is used, which is a portion number, we have that. And then you can see this uh, really high quality, high pressure system, and the nitrogen. So we're going to set up the system to accept the nitrogen fill. Go. So we can actually hear that the diagnostic system actuating the valves, sending a signal to the control module, which in turn actuates the valves and opens it in a certain order to fill the system. So we're going to turn off the nitrogen because that's right there. So now we need to reconnect the front strut, release the pressure, open up the valve. So we're done with our nitrogen equipment, which consists of a nitrogen tank. We use 80 cubic feet tank, and we use really high quality uh, gauges. As you can see, they're oil filled, and these are actually US made gauges. Here's the adapter, you can see. Made in Germany, check this out, this little thing. And while it looks like this is similar thread to what you have on the tire valve, but it actually is a high pressure valve inside. And then there is a certain conical fitment surface over here. So when it goes on the fitting on the car, it's all very, very tight. And then of course, this valve allows for a tight connection. And because these are all high pressure uh, joints, you can see inside, even though it looks like a tire uh, valve fitting, but there's actually a copper uh, washer inside. So now we reconnected the line to the strut and we're gonna continue the balancing the system. So right now the, the vehicle control module, the suspension control module filling the empty strut 
with the pressure. And while it's doing that, I'll comment on the uh, power supply because during this process, we need to make sure the battery voltage stays where it's supposed to be. So it says the tool is happy with uh, suspension fill and it says that the process completed. So now we can lower the vehicle and do the test run. So now that we cleared all the trouble codes, uh, we're going to exercise the suspension and pretty much run it through the, all the settings and see how everything works. You can see how it moves um, up, down. We're gonna monitor and make sure that right and left side, at least visually, uh, visually work. So we just watch the back go down a little bit. Yeah, you can see it's going up going down. Are we doing good with uh, all the scans and everything? Yeah, everything is good. System behaves pretty good. So it's raising and lowering pretty fast. So yeah, very impressive. Design. Yeah. Very impressive. So and now it's Friday. So we're actually going to take the opportunity of the weekend and we're going to lock the car. We're going to put it outside because it's cold in the suspensions. If there is a problem, it's most likely going to show on a cold day. So we're going to uh, park the car over the weekend outside on a, f on a level surface. Uh, all the computers are gonna be asleep and then we're gonna check on a Monday morning. So welcome to the last segment of our Porsche Panamera air suspension video. This is a very happy segment because it's been uh, almost three days. We left the car outside untouched and it did not change suspension height at all, like nothing. We have nitrogen inside and uh, we did have some temperature changes and it did not move a bit, which is great. So just to sum up, the car had an issue with intermittent, but we lucked out for us in the shop. It was a definitely consistent issue with the vehicle losing its height. And at some point it was all four wheels and then later, after some work, uh, front wheels only. So we actually used one of the tools we created that would allow us to isolate any air strut from the system so we can see if the leak is in the strut or is it in the system. So that's how we were able to figure out that it, uh, those were the front struts that causing the front end to drop down. But to get there, we also changed the valve assembly because it was also creating a leak and that caused the rear or a complete all four wheels to go down. Uh, we did change a compressor because there was one of the solenoid valves was giving an error code consistently. So we now happy to report that the car is all set, which is doing final cosmetic checks and uh, complementary cleaning. I just did an extended road test myself and enjoyed the car immensely. This is still the generation where you didn't have to spend GTS dollars to get your awesome V8. So this car has all that. And we're gonna be contacting the customer and letting them know that the car is ready for pickup. So thank you very much for watching this video, for subscribing to channel. If you're not subscribed, you should consider to receive this awesome modern content which we create on a daily basis. Consider sharing, subscribing, and let us know which videos you like the best by simply clicking that like button. My name is Dimitri, and until next time.